But we all stop to think about those who lost their lives serving our country on days like 9-11 and national holidays. But there are many people right here in Spokane who live with the loss every day. That is why both Spokane veterans and active military decided to start March for the Fallen. KXLY Force Katie Curry is working for you with the emotional story behind the march. Katie. Aaron, this year was the second annual March for the Fallen, and it's held on this second weekend in September because it is closest to September 11th, and this event honors soldiers who have died after 9-11. It has been 13 years since 9-11. In those 13 years, 150 soldiers have been killed in action. Today, those men were honored by those who served alongside them. Our mileage is based off of the killed in action since 9-11. There's been 150, so it's a 15.0 kilometer march. Mike Stutsky is the director of March for the Fallen. He did one 18-month tour overseas. During his time there, he lost six friends. They are the inspiration behind today. In particular, me, I had a friend, Jeremiah Schmunk, rescued me and some of my men in Iraq, and he died while they were rescuing us. Every 130 feet of the 9.3 mile course is a picture, a picture of a fallen soldier. For the 200 marchers participating, it's an emotional reminder. Really many emotions and uh, many old memories because we shared everything uh, from the joy to the laughter, to the tears to, of losing uh, fellow comrades. Ahmed spent five years as a translator for the U.S. Army in Iraq. He says his citizenship says he's Iraqi, but his heart says he's an American. Today, there is no other place he'd rather be than on American soil, honoring those who gave their lives. America is uh, the greatest nation on earth because these people are here today and I'm part of them is to honor our fallen great heroes. Thanks to God and them, we have our freedom. Between the family members who lost a loved one and the brothers in war, today is not a day to be sad, but a day to celebrate the great soldiers who served our country. I love you, America. I love you all. To make it out today, there are a few ways that you can still donate to local veterans groups. You can either head out to Whiskey Dicks tonight. The group will be there selling t-shirts and hoodies and accepting donations. Or you can head to KXLY.com and click on the News Links tab to learn how you can donate. Reporting on the Sky Deck tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News. And thank you for that report, Katie.